Yeah, yeah. Which uh, one? Okay. Uh. They told me once he was living downstairs. But I have never been here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello? Just Hello! Oh, wow! <laughs> you see, wild, young and beautiful still. <laughs> still wild, young and beautiful. Hello. So how did you meet Jason first? I have no idea. <laughs> it was a very long time ago. It must have been about 15 or 16 years ago, actually, yeah. because it was the first, just about, it was one of the first things I did when I moved into the studio was meet Jason. Really? Yeah. And um, he'd been recording something in some other studio and uh, he appeared one day with his ideas and asked me if I could find him some musicians yeah. to help him record his tracks. I think we went to mix. We went and mixed it somewhere up with Ken Thomas up in Ipswich somewhere. Yeah. Strange like that. But um, you know, it was really good because it was just really in your face, absolutely bullshit free. Just music from the heart. You mm. call it rock music, or I guess it goes rock bass, you know, guitar bass, drums, etc. Yeah. Some heavy players, but. Um, it's just something else actually. The guy is just such a totally free spirit and uh, the amount of passion he puts into it, even if you don't like it, it's exciting, you know, it's yeah, great. Right. So, do you remember the musicians that initially recorded? Um, He's recorded a few times. Um, yeah. Um, mm, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, to start off with, with the, the whole thing, with, I was sort of co-producing with Patty Paladin and then Stevie was playing guitar, Jim Barnes, who I'd been in a band with previously, was doing guitar, sort of, he's, he's a kind of 50 notes a second, kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that kind of <laughs> He's always been and will always be an interesting character, but he's certainly calmed down a lot, you know. Thank you for saying that until. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you 